competitive Pokemon lore. In the history of Pokemon, there have been a ton of signature moves that were exclusive to legendary Pokemon. Well, these moves were never actually exclusive to any legendary because Smeargle has always been capable of learning them through the move Sketch and using them in VGC. While Smeargle doesn't become terribly unbalanced due to its inability of using anything more than support moves like Fake Out or Follow Me effectively, what would happen if it got access to some sort of absurdly powerful support move? Enter Darkrai. Darkrai has never actually been legal in VGC due to its status as a mythical Pokemon. It has the signature move Dark Void, which is a dark type move that has 80 accuracy and can put both opposing Pokemon to sleep. Sleep moves are typically very strong and competitive due to their ability to completely shut down a Pokemon for 1 to 3 turns, and they're typically balanced through either being inaccurate and having grass types be immune to them, like Sleep Powder, being basically a coin flip like Hypnosis, or only being given to extremely slow Pokemon like Spore. Basically, these moves have always been meticulously distributed in such a way to avoid sleep being anything other than a calculated risk. Dark Void has the best accuracy of any non-grass type sleep move, meaning nothing is immune to it without some sort of ability, and it will usually connect on not just one, but two opponents. And this was usually fine as Darkrai was never meant to be used in VGC, and the devs likely believed only friends using legendaries against each other would see Dark Void in any capacity. But Smeargle proved them wrong here. Smeargle in VGC 2016 ran its usual set of support moves, but traded out Spore for Dark Void. It also had the ability Moody, which could raise any one of its stats by two stages while dropping another one. This could create a nightmare situation where a Smeargle not only has increased speed, but increased accuracy, thus bypassing the one and only drawback of using Dark Void and give it the ability to put both opposing Pokemon to sleep. This would allow for partners like Xerneas to get off a Geomancy with no risk at all, or shut down a Primal Kyogre to allow a Primal Ground on to pick it off with ease, despite it being in the rain. Smeargle Dark Void plays became such a nuisance in VGC that Game Freak actually decided to do something about it. As of Gen 7, Smeargle is no longer able to use the move Dark Void. If attempted, the move will simply fail. So problem solved, right? Smeargle was the only Pokemon that could truly abuse Dark Void to any significant degree? Well, no. The devs took things a step too far in many people's opinions. They actually decided to give the move itself a nerf. What could this nerf be? You know, maybe make it a single target move, right? Nope. Okay. Uh, maybe make dark types immune to it entirely? Nope. What'd they decide to do then? Well, they decided to nerf its accuracy to 50, which is worse than Hypnosis, a move that Darkrai also gets. Essentially, Game Freak in response to Smeargle being annoying in VGC, decided to make Darkrai's most iconic move absolutely useless in almost every situation, despite Darkrai itself never being an issue. It was a truly strange decision that, while fixed an annoying issue in VGC, ruined a Pokemon in singles. Free Darkrai. If you learned anything new, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more VGC content, and check out my Twitch channel to watch me battle live.